If you're thinking about buying a home in Toronto, you're probably wondering, what's my budget? It's a common question that can be overwhelming, but don't worry, we've got you covered. Mm -hmm. In this video, we'll share some practical tips and advice to help you determine your home buying budget and achieve your real estate goals. Hi there, I am Stephanie Noss. And I'm Nicole Schloss. And we are the Homeplicity Realty Group at Keller Williams. Today, we're going to talk about the question that comes up when you're looking to buy a home in Toronto. What is my budget? It's an important question. It is. And one that can be very overwhelming for many buyers. Totally. But don't worry, we're going to break it down for you. The first step in determining your budget is going to be to establish a baseline and know your stuff. So take a deep dive into all your accounts and look at everything from your debts to your RRSPs, rainy day funds, more. The more you know about your personal finances, the better Mm. and scarier. (laughs) And from there, you can start to build out and look at even more factors that may impact your buying budget. Right. So for example, do you have assets? Maybe you have a home that you're going to want to sell before buying your new home. Are your parents, if you're lucky? going to be pitching in just take note of everything so that you're prepared and once you have a clear understanding of your finances Mm -hmm. you can start to plan ahead and set some goals right and don't worry you might not even have to give up your avocado toast (laughs) that's right you can have your avocado toast and your home buying goals too (laughs) but there are several ways to help determine your budget for buying your property for sure Mm. first consider your down payment In Canada, the minimum down payment is 5% for homes valued at $500,000 or less, which is not easy to Mm -hmm. find here in Toronto. And for homes valued over a million or more, you need a 20% down payment. Yeah. And if you're putting down less than 20%, you'll need mortgage loan insurance. So that's something that you'll want to factor into your budget too. Yeah. Another extra cost. Mm -hmm. Another important factor is to consider your monthly expenses. Right. It's important to understand how changes to your monthly expenses, like a bigger mortgage payment, will impact your overall financial health. Yeah, nobody wants to be house poor. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the 50-30-20 rule, but it's basically a budgeting tool to help you spend wisely. 50% of your income should be spent on needs like housing, food, transportation, 30% spent on wants, entertainment, hobbies, vacations, and 20% of your income should go towards paying off your debt or saving money until you reach financial goals like buying a house. I need to redo my finances. Yeah. It's also important to consider closing costs, mm. which can add up to 3 to 5% of your overall purchase price. If you're selling a property, the funds of a purchase price of a new home, you may need to consider bridge financing right. to carry the mortgage on two properties for a short period of time. Yeah. A lot of people do find that way more manageable, especially if you're moving out of a condo and into a house where setting up moving elevators can be a challenge. So one thing to keep in mind is that an experienced realtor can help you line up these dates so that you're Mm -hmm. not stressed. And we can introduce you to our mortgage partners for practical advice on how to properly budget for a home based on what you can afford in your own unique situation. And speaking of real estate agents, Mm -hmm. make sure you can trust your agent, Mm. that they have your best interests in mind and not just their commission. Yeah, right. For sure. Our goal on our team is always to give our clients the same advice that we would give our friends and family, even if that means not buying or selling right now. If you are looking to make a move in Toronto, then we would love it if you would give us a call and we'll see if we can help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful tips and information on everything from buying and selling homes to living in condos with children. Yeah, for sure. We're always dropping new videos on a variety of topics that are related to the Toronto real estate market. So make sure that you're subscribed and hit the bell so that you are the first to know when we put a new video. And if you're looking for more buying resources, we've got you covered. Check out our blog on modern Toronto upgrades that are totally worth it, Mm -hmm. or read our posts on whether you should rent or buy in Canada. We'll link those below in the description. And for some good fun and a little shade, don't forget to check out our video, which I'll link up here on things that real estate agents hate. (laughs) You can get into the mind of a Toronto realtor. Careful. We know that buying a home can be super stressful and overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. With the right team on your side, you can feel confident and informed every step of the way. Yeah. At Homeplicity Realty at Keller Williams, we are committed to making the home buying process as smooth and stress-free as possible for you. So even if you have a home that you have to sell, lining it all up, don't forget to reach out. And if you found this video helpful, 
be sure to give us two thumbs up <laughs> and leave a comment below. And don't forget to share this with anyone who might be looking to buy a home in Toronto. Thanks again for tuning in to the end. And we look forward to seeing you next week in our next video. Bye. Bye.